Hey, it's your girl Charlene E. And I'm back with um, a review. I've had these products for a little while now. So I think I'm ready to go ahead and give the review. Um, the company is Bitch Slap Cosmetics. And I'm very impressed. Um, I heard a couple things, but that didn't stop me because a lot of my subscribers and um, people that I'm subscribed to use these products and I wanted to use them also. So I was sent for things and the packaging was great. Like the bubble wrap, make sure nothing got messed up, spilled broke um customer service was great and yeah so i'm gonna jump right on into it um the first thing i was sent was these lipstick samples and this is how it looks and originally i think it's a three tier but i was sent two of the three and the red one is called they have some derogatory names but um i think they're unique so this red one is called whore and this red is so red this is the reddest lipstick i've ever used and i've had to over um put another color over it just you know, so it wouldn't be so red. And that is, it's right there. And let me just tell you, um, these are one of the best finishes I've ever used as far as lipstick. Um, it's like a matte, but with a, a little bit of moisture. It doesn't go in between the lines of your lips, which I've been having a problem with. Um, and... It doesn't like make your lips look scaly, pilly, or anything like that. And they last all freaking day. I'm talking about all day. I'll give it 10 hours. I'll give it 10 hours without have, having to um, retouch. No lie. Um, this next pink color at the bottom is like pink with kind of a purplish tint a little bit. This one is called, I'm not going to say the actual word, but it's called F Your Ex-Boyfriend. So, yeah, they have some crazy names. All of their products have some pretty crazy names. So, here is a swatch of that. And this lipstick is really bright. I thought it was going to be like a, a soft baby pink, but when it's on the lips, it's like pow. So with this one, I've mixed lipsticks together with this one. And I'll also use like a brown um, lip liner for this one. And I've also wore these two together. So yeah, these are the, the towers. And this actual... Um, I don't know the actual price on this. It might be like $10. I will put the price in the bottom bar to make sure. I don't want to get it wrong. So, yeah, but it will come in three. Love. Next is this tower. And this how this one looks with the lips. And it just says Bitch Slap Cosmetics with... Um, leopard print around it and this one is the three piece smoky brown tower and this one actually has the price on it this one is um, eight dollars and these are some great neutral colors um, this one is a dark dark brown it's almost a black brown this one is a gold and this is like a shimmer nude so and you have to be careful. They are fan, um, full to the rim. 
and I'm going to do a little swatch for you guys. This brown, I've never used a brown like this before. I mean, it's so dark, it is almost like a, it's really dark. But what I like about this brown is that if you blend it enough, it can be a soft brown. I showed you guys um, in one, one of my last videos, uh, like a soft, smoky look, soft brown. And this color was blended all the way out. You couldn't even tell it was this dark anymore. So let me go ahead and swatch this middle. Um one right here and that brown is a matte brown this gold is like a satin I should say it's really soft and all of them are very pigmented no problem with that there is the gold right there very bright and I will insert a picture of what I did with the entire stack it was um, a cut the crease look and this last one is just like a nude color you can use it on a lid you can use it as a highlight right here and that's it right there so this is a nice neutral tower you can't go wrong with neutrals and especially when the colors are blendable especially that brown or you can go and keep it this deep and like cut the crease which what I did I cut the crease and blended it too so you can do a dark um, smoky eye with this and use it um, as liner the next thing I think this one is uh, my favorite I don't know maybe the lipstick is my favorite not that maybe this is my favorite but uh, <laughs> this is the blush and this one is called hold up and this is how the top looks three, gir three girls excuse me and it's like a brown peach color it is really pretty um, I can use this because of the skin tone that I have um, I can use this on the cheeks I can almost use it a little on for contouring but it's just this brownish peachy color right here and it's a matte it's so nice and this is also blendable too it doesn't blend all the way out but it's enough color and like I, I, I don't know if I said it but these are $13 on the site and what else? last but not least they sent me this camouflage foundation and it is in caramel cream caramel looks like this and this is a lot now the thing with this this is a really pretty color it looks like my color I had a problem with this one um, when I put it on since it's like a cream uh, first I sprayed my face with fix plus and, and my brush so it would spread smoothly um, once I got it spread it around I almost kind of felt like it was a mask on um, it almost looked ashy at the same time too so I kept on playing with it. That, that's really what took me so long to do this review because it was hard to use this. So then I was like, okay, let me try it as a concealer. When I, you know, without blending, blending it out, it was a little lighter, shall I say, under the eyes. But 
it creased immediately. Um, I'm really not used to foundations creasing because I could have used two different foundations and used this like under the eye. But um, that didn't work. I used it just dry without any fix plus or primer. It wasn't really working for me. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I've tried different ways, different brushes, everything, um, and try not to make it cake or try not to make it crease. Um, so if anybody else has used this, please let me know. But yeah, that's it. Overall, I would um, purchase their product, especially their blushes and their lipsticks and I've heard that their glitters are amazing and yeah so that's about it um, I want to say thank you for everyone who's watching go ahead and go over to the channel and I will talk to you ladies later bye